I recognize that, so I'm at peace with myself. So whether other people like it or they don't like it, I, I'm, I am who I am and I'm happy with it. I don't have to rub it on other people's face. And if I'm in a hostile situation and somebody wants to kill me or shoot me or beat me up and I can just move away from it, I do. I get out of the way of the tiger. I won't stay on the path of the, of the dragon if I, can, if I can help it. But that doesn't determine my happiness. Whether a million people are happy with what I do or one person is happy with what I do. And this, I look at it as a challenge and, and as an opportunity to turn the poison to medicine. When someone's attacking me and verbally or whatever. So I look at it and I come back to myself I look at it whether there's a validity to it or not. And I just sink back to myself. And I use this as an opportunity to make me remember who I am. So you turn the poison into medicine. Okay. That was very useful. Great yeah. explanation. Fully understood. Thank right. you. Great. You're welcome. Nice, nice hearing from you and talking to you. Hi, Sharon. I'm going to unmute you. So, hi, Sharon. Oops. Hey, there we go. Yeah, hi. hi. Nice, seeing, nice seeing you. Nice Welcome back. You Thank you. Thank you. Do you want me to read what I wrote? Yeah, if, so everybody else can hear it too. Okay, so this was a question about duality existing in the fifth dimension. Because I, okay. always, I always think of it like you said, well, cigarettes are God. So I don't think that I think of, well, I believe you though, because I, I think you understand things more than I do. So, but I'm confused about it because, um, and I think of duality as being on the third dimension in this uh challenging planet that we have and i think of the fifth of divinity as being this just beautiful source of love and when we incarnate we come in with that divinity within ourselves and um we get distracted by lots of things but we also come in with our karma and the karma is the part of us that gets us in trouble and that we you know that um that we grapple with in our existence here, but that the um, divine source is always this just kind of, uh, well, yes, this very beautiful energy. So um, that's why I- Okay, so, all right, let's- confused. Okay, in a nutshell, uh, let's see if we can narrow it down. So what is your, if you were to ask me a direct question, what is that? Well, you you talk about God is including everything. Yes. And that and so my direct question is that I think of uh, duality is existing on this third dimension, and that divinity is does not have that duality. That the divine source, Her Majesty, um, God, uh, the Creator, um, is just this source of uh, magnificent. Right. Right, Love right, and light. Right. Were Were you at our last two? Um, uh, I attended events? the last one. I didn't hear oh, the right. one before that. Right. I attended the yeah. first, the third, and the today. First, yeah. When When you get a chance, if you have time later on next week, uh, watch the ones that you didn't you didn't see. So uh, that one, right. Yeah, then there's some that. really yes. gems, gems okay. in there that you will get. But I'm going to go through this again. The, if, your question is very valid. It's a question that every spiritual seeker encounters and struggles with this. And, you're snod, and I appreciate your asking this question because it's everyone's question. So right now, I'm just going to 
uh, unmute you if you don't mind. Uh, mute you so there's no background noise. So um, when you start to awaken and you start to realize recognizing your true nature and you're going beyond the mind because the mind it categorizes things that this is good this is bad for instance what is good and what is bad it depends where you were brought up what under what system you grew up and how you were formed for instance if you grew up in Jamaica and you're a native smoking marijuana it's a very natural thing everybody smokes marijuana grows marijuana it's legal and it's natural but if you do the same thing in Saudi Arabia then you could be prison for life or you could be stoned or you can lose your life or whatever similarly if you live in scandinavian countries or western countries drinking alcohol is a very normal thing nobody thinks of it as a sin so actually all the youngsters like in uh, a lot of western countries are encouraged to drink societies encourage them it's a part of the culture but if you go to a muslim country and a very strict Muslim country and you're drinking alcohol that's a crime and there's consequences that you have to pay for it so this idea of good and bad is all depending where you were brought up and what is good and what is bad it's cultural it's conditioned to us it's something we've been taught if you grow up in in some kind of i don't know amazonian or african tribe that cannibalism is the way so eating other cooking eating other humans is the way to be and if you grew up in another culture that's that's a crime it's a sin so you start to pay attention to these things and as you're waking up as you're awakening as you're just your consciousness starts to to expand so you're not looking at things like this so it's starting to open up what happens is in this awakening process you start to go beyond good and bad you rise above what is good and what is bad because you start to realize that you've been conditioned to believe something is good and something is bad existence life doesn't care life doesn't care what is good and what is bad if it did care it wouldn't create the bad stuff it would only create what we consider to be good if existence existence cared the divine being cared then there won't be any child molesting or any raping or any killing there would never be any wars there would never be cancer no one would be beaten up at age 13 by their parents or abused or sexually abused 